hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jester Average YouTube and today we're going to be working on building a sort of Victorian style house that I think is really going to be really cool to build. So first we're going to need to select our build palette, iron bars, that sort of thing because we're going to build a fence around the house and stone buttons are going to be useful for the fence. Uh, spruce fence gates are also going to be useful for the fence. And yeah, I'm basically just going to be showing you a general design for a Victorian-style house, how to build these, and the theory of building them. So first you're going to want to build some type of fence, because be it like this, with like a hole in between, and like this with full iron bars, it doesn't matter how you build your fence. The fence just needs to be built, because these like fancy mansions always, or almost always, have like nice fences around them that people can't get through. Uh, so I'm just going to build a very simple fence design like this. Should I put an arch? Should I put this? Should I put that? Nah. But yeah, basically just a basic fence design around the house. Every three blocks is uh, a pillar. And yeah, should there be a pillar of actual stone bricks? Should it be stone bricks on top? You can decide when you design your fence. But yeah, this is basically a fence design. Let me grab a stone button actually. Or should cobwebs look good? Nah. I think I'm going to have to go with maybe anvils or maybe stone buttons. Would andesite look good? No. So I'm going to go with stone buttons because these it's actually a really good build hack in order to get the walls to sort of go down and be more like, well, downward is just use stone buttons because they technically count as a block on top. And yeah. And so I'm just going to do five sections per and just build out this nice looking fence and then we're going to build a house within it. Now normally I would say don't start with the fence, start with the house, but I don't feel like it today. I know how, what size I'm going to be working with, I know that, but I always think you should start with the house before the fence because then you will know how big your fence has to be because it, nothing hurts worse than building this massive like fancy fence, right? And then needing to tear the whole thing down and rebuild it simply because your house was too big. But this is a decent amount of space. Uh, five times three uh, plus three is 18 blocks. 18 by 18. I think probably much bigger than 18 by 18, actually. But that's how much space we have to work with here. And so we're just going to want to put like a little path. Normal path using just a mixture of blend, stone, that sort of thing, cobble, because that's what roads are made out of. Or you could use a brick blend, depending. But then we're going to want to get endstone could look good as a limestone. And then we're going to want to sort of lay down the outline of the house. They tend to have big windows at the front and then go down and just back into, well, whatever in the back. And then brick is, well, the main body. It's going to be bricks because most of these houses are brick. And now you're going to want to build it up at least four, like between three and five blocks tall after you put a base layer of either stone bricks, smooth stone, normal stone, whatever. But you're going to want to put a layer of that in there. And then break in a doorway and give it a little bit of pizzazz by putting down a little archway with some spruce or some dark oak or whatever. We'll get to that one later. Let's just put this on. You can use trap doors on the sides, or you can just use a, a normal archway like that. But, yeah, it, it's a decent-looking house. Now, you're going to want to go a bit taller, because these houses can get really tall. And you're going to want to put, like, you know, keep mixing your granite and your brick. Or you can mix uh, end stone, sand, or end stone bricks, sandstone. And then you're going to want to put windows here. Now, you could use trap doors, or you could just pillar up with brick walls and stone brick walls on the bottom, brick walls all the way up, and it connects the glass in here. And yep, that'll look good. But if you put these bricks along here, you color, take all this, boop, 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 do that, and yeah, you've got your walls all built up. And this is basically the general shape we will be working with. I try and make houses interesting shapes. If you want, you can just make it a square because squares are also effective. But yeah, it, it's a decent looking house. You're going to want to put like 
maybe stairs on the windows if you want to add a bit more depth, but you don't have to. And then you can make it just a bit tiny, teensy weensy bit taller before we start adding on the roof. And yeah, the roof will be made out of basalt. I've been using a lot of basalt roofing recently because it looks a lot like shingles if you look at it from the top and from the side. So I've been thinking it looks, well, like shingles. So we might as well use it as shingles, right? It looks, it makes a pretty decent roof. Maybe it needs to be a couple blocks thicker. Or maybe we could put slabs down and see how these look. Nah, I don't, I don't like the look of those. If you like them, then fine, but I don't like them. Uh, so we're just going to make these two like thick. And then add a third one that's three thick on top right here. And that will be the sort of crown of the build. Because we want the two sides, because like they have little offshoots, and then a taller part of the structure that has a taller roof, as well as having large chimneys, which will be in the back. We will work on this chimney. Like I said, they have very large chimneys sometimes, and uh, this is where a fireplace will go on the interior, which we will do in another episode. We will do the interior. But until then, we won't do the interior. We're just going to build a giant fireplace. Now, I feel like this is a bit too big, but I'm not 100% sure. So we're just going to build it up and see, is it too big? I feel like it probably is much too big. Yes, it it might be. Let me think about it and just place some blocks, look at it. Yeah, it is too big. Let's just break this, break this in, and make it so it doesn't have to go as big, as far, as much as it really has to. And then that destroys one block and makes it, well, a block smaller, meaning that it has a two-block center in the middle. Or, no, one block center in the middle, sorry, rather than two block. And we can just put staircases around. Do I want staircases on this level? You're, you're going to want the inward, like, setness of it to go in at a certain level. Uh, so, it'll go in maybe a bit lower, maybe a bit higher, wherever you decide. But if you have a large chimney base, you're going to want it to be going inward at some point. And I'll just add basalt there, and we will mirror this on the other side, so that way we can easily just have a mirror... Oh, sorry, drop, drop my microphone. But uh, I easily have a mirror image here that sort of represents the other side and makes it easier for, like, well, it's going to be... I, I'm doing a more symmetrical build, right? But, like, uh, a lot of these houses are asymmetrical, but some of them are very symmetrical since they usually have offshoots to the side and one central sort of building in the middle. And there we will build the building, the main building, after this. See, we finish this second building. And now we should just add a couple windows here. Because the, you can never have enough windows sometimes, right? This is a build style where you may never have enough windows. Now, you're going to want to expand upwards at least four blocks from where the roofs of the old ones are. And yeah, add some staircases at some point up here. I'm going to go five or six blocks above, put some staircases here, and then I'm going to boop, 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 boop all around, and boom. There we go. Now we're going to put a giant window in here, right here in the middle, because giant windows. Like I said, this is the type of building style where you can't get enough windows. And now, just along the top, we're going to have another roof exactly like our other roofs, just a basic A-frame using nothing but basalt. You could also frame the basalt in stone brick, but, I mean, might as well just use nothing but basalt. Or, like, you could use gray carpets, gray concrete powder and concrete, gray concrete powder and wool, whatever you'd like. Just so long as it's... You don't even need to use gray, but, yeah, so long as it's these kind of shingling and it looks like this, it will look pretty decent. I like to use basalt, but, you know, some other people might want to use not basalt. What if they want a blue roof? What if they want, like, a patinaed copper roof? Then they'd probably use a mixture between jungle wood and prismarine and, let's see, uh, warped wood. That's what they'd use. 
Now I'm just going to go in the interior, clean it up a bit, and finish up the roof. But yeah, uh, if you guys ever have questions about builds or anything, just, just let me know. Let me know in a comment or an email, and I'll, get, I'll be sure to respond to it. So if you have questions about different build palettes or anything like that, maybe I should make a video on a list of build palettes. But that could be cool. But yeah, we are almost finished with the build, and look at this beauty. We just need to fill in a hole right here in the back, and yes, pull up right in front here. This is the finished product. There could be some smoke coming out of that chimney, but this here is the finished Victorian house. No interior decorating, no exterior real detailing. There's no, like, lanterns hanging or anything like that, or nice, like, shutters on the windows, but... This is the basic concept, right? So you can go inside and stuff and do things inside, but there's not really much to do inside, right? But I'll just put a dark oak door on here and call it a day. But the the thing is that the way you build these is you have a square. It's central on a square, and the, like... It has offshoots. That is the main thing. And the central square is going to be taller than the rest. And then also grand windows in some points of interest. This is slow. Slow mode. Yep. But grand windows in points of interest. And small windows in points of some interest. But not as much interest. Like I said, if you have questions, just send it in a comment down below. But I hope you enjoyed the video and had a good time watching. I had a good time making this video. And, yeah, thank you for watching. But that'll be it for this episode, my dudes. Bowdy.